We built these with train units, and these were actually used in the Service Titan competition. And the cool thing was is that even though we brought in some of the best people in the country, there wasn't a single technician that figured out all the faults. Now, I'm not saying that we built these to fool technicians, because we didn't. We built them to train technicians, and train technicians specifically on how to use MeasureQuick. And the interesting thing was, is that it proved how much the software is needed in the industry, because the software picked up the diagnostic before the technicians even had a second to figure out what was wrong. Let me show you a couple things that we did. So number one, these train units, what I like here is that these have the reversing valve on the outside of the, of the outdoor coil. Now, this is a true discharge line. I can get a probe on here, measure discharge pressure. I can get to my true suction line, get to my suction, measure the suction temperature. It makes it really easy to do. It's not this easy on a lot of heat pumps. I've got my outdoor air probe over here, and then I've got a, a couple things here. If you look at these lines coming up here, we've got a ball valve in the liquid line, and that's so we can create a liquid line restriction. We have a ball valve up here in the suction line to create a suction line restriction so we can show how those suction lines and liquid lines, if they're kinked, impact operation of the system. We have dampers up here so we can show what happens if we have high static on the system so we can create a high static pressure situation or low airflow. You can hear the fan speed up and do those kind of things. Through the train application, we can actually open and close the EEV so we can show in these sight glasses here what it looks like when liquid's coming back and going back into the vapor line and into the compressor. We can show what happens when it looks, or what it looks like when we have an undercharge or overcharge by adding or removing refrigerant in this tank. So there's a lot of little things that you can show with these trainers, but then we can also go through and do things like scan the labels over here and get the, uh, do the labels for the AI and make sure that we get the profile correct. On this one over here, I sort of have it open. You can see we have a ball valve here, and this ball valve, what it does is it bypasses the uh, compressor. So if you look right here, there's two lines right here that come out. This goes from the hot gas line through the ball valve and comes back down and dumps it into the suction. So this simulates either a bad reversing valve or a bad compressor. So there's a lot of interesting things you can simulate with these trainers. Also over here, we have a, a water bucket here and it's got a rector seal electronic um, sensor that tells us when the system's full, when the water's full, so we don't get water all over the shop. And we've got good filtering on the bottom. We've got an April Air 20 by 20 air cleaner down below that. And air is coming through the bottom of the training unit. So these are really well built, really easy to use, really easy to use with MeasureQuick and allow you to do all the probe placement and all the testing for charging, heating, cooling, whatever you want to do.